In this video, we will show you ways to get the most out of the mapping on your Garmin watch. Many of our premium watches include preloaded topoactive mapping. Others include Map Manager, allowing you to download additional mapping. See the link in the description to learn more about topoactive mapping and how you can install additional regions. You will not need a phone or connected service as the mapping will be loaded to your watch. You can access your mapping anytime within the coverage region. First, let's talk about how to view your map. You can use the timeline to skip ahead to other sections of this video. You can quickly view the map from the outdoor activity. From the watch face, press the start stop button to open the apps and activities list. Next, use the start stop button again to select an outdoor activity such as run, bike, or open water swimming. The watch will require GPS satellites. Press the down button again to scroll through the data screens until you see the map screen. To learn more about the data screen fields and how to customize them, search for data fields under your product selection on support.garmin.com. Some activities such as skiing or golfing will utilize additional maps to better provide you with details for the activity type. See the links in the description to learn more about these two mapping types. Now that we discussed how to view mapping, let's talk about ways you can best use the mapping for direction and guidance. One of these options is Trendline Popularity Routing. Trendline Popularity Routing allows you to easily find a route that your fellow cyclists or runners complete. This is beneficial if you travel to a new area or just want to try out a new course. To start a course, open the app and activities list by pressing the start stop button. Select an outdoor activity such as run or bike. Press and hold the up menu button to open the menu. Select navigation. Then select round trip course. Use the up and down buttons to set the distance you would like to complete. Press the start stop button to set and then to confirm. Select a direction heading and the watch will calculate courses based on the distance. Calculating a course will take around 30 seconds or so to complete. This will vary depending on course length and turns required for the selected course. Use the up and down buttons to locate the course you would like to complete. Press the Start Stop button to select the course. Here you can select Go to begin the Trendline Popularity Routing course or view additional details. Press the Start Stop button to begin your activity. While starting a Trendline Routing course does begin on the map screen, you can scroll through the data screens to pick the data you prefer to view at a glance. When you approach a turn in your course, the watch will alert you with a tone and vibration on two accounts before the turn. In addition, the map screen will display temporarily allowing you to see the up ahead turn. The last option we will discuss is loading a course to your watch. Creating a course will allow you to control the directions for your route. You can even choose to load shared courses from Garmin Connect. You will need to be paired to your Garmin Connect app on your compatible smartphone or tablet to transfer the course. For this video, we will be using an Apple iPhone, but the process is similar on an Android smartphone or tablet. See our Getting Started videos linked in the description if you need help pairing your watch to your compatible smartphone. Start by opening the Garmin Connect app on your smartphone. Then access the menu by touching the More icon on an Apple iPhone or the Menu icon on an Android smartphone. Then select Training and Planning, followed by Courses. Next select Create Course. Select a course type. Options include Cycling, Running, Hiking, and Other. For this video, we will select Running. Next, you can choose a drawing method. You can have Garmin Connect automatically create a course for you, or you can create a custom course. We will select the automatic option. Now you can customize parameters by selecting the distance, 
and direction you would like to travel. Finally, you can select course name at the top to change the name of your course. Select next once the parameters are set to your preference. Next, you will need to select a starting point. This could be near your home or local park. Select I'm ready. Select a starting point on the map. The app will create the course based on the distance and direction of travel you selected. You can change the starting point if needed or select done when the course is complete. Next, we will tap the three dot menu icon in the upper right. Here you have more options such as editing a course or sending it to a device. Select send to device when ready. Touch your watch. You will see a message that you are ready when the sync is complete. To start the course on the watch, open the app and activities list by pressing the start stop button. Select an outdoor activity that aligns with your course. Press and hold the up menu button to open the menu. Select navigation. Then select courses. Select the loaded course. Then select a do course. Confirm your watch has satellites and the watch will be able to provide guidance through the selected course. You may see a distance at the bottom of the map screen. This indicates the remaining distance to the start of the course from your current location. Press the start stop button to begin your activity. You now have a good understanding of ways to view mapping in your activities. See the links in the description to learn about additional map features such as Climb Pro or Pace Pro. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.